The man whose soul is at peace is not a nuisance to himself or to others. Only he who can do without wealth is worthy of enjoying it. With every desire, we must ask ourselves this question, what benefit will result if I do not satisfy it? The last degree of happiness is the absence of all evil. The man who is not satisfied with a little will never be satisfied with anything. It is better to fail through bad fortune, after having reasoned well, than to succeed through good fortune, after having reasoned having reasoned badly. Nothing can be enough for him who considers as little what is enough. Each of us leaves life with the feeling that he has just been born. It is not so much the help of our friends that helps us as our confidence in that help. We should not so much look at what we eat as at who we eat with. If we suppress the sight, the encounters, and the life together, the passion for love disappears. The vile soul is swollen with pride in prosperity and dejected in adversity. No one, seeing evil, chooses it, but lured by the lure of a good by an evil greater than it, one is ensnared. Not to be hungry, not to be thirsty, not to be cold, he who has this, and has the hope of having it in the future, can fight as it happens, and will run happy days. In the common search for arguments, he who is defeated has gained more, in proportion to what he has just learned. Do not do anything in your life that makes you fear that your neighbor will learn about it. In most men, calm is lethargy, emotion is fury. It is obvious that long speech and short speech end in the same thing. All friendship must be sought for its own sake, it has, however, the utility for the origin. Necessity is an evil, there is no need to live under the rule of necessity. Of the things with which wisdom equips itself for the happiness of the whole life, by far the most important is the possession of friendship. There is nothing to fear in living, if one has truly understood that there is nothing to fear in not living. No one should be jealous, for good men do not deserve to be jealous, and bad men, the better their fortune, the more they corrupt themselves. It is not possible to live happily without being wise, honest and just, nor is it possible to be wise, honest and just without being happy. When one is self-sufficient, one comes to possess that priceless good which is freedom.